Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Now that you have written your first C program, now in this tutorial, you're going to start writing proper program. By proper program, it means you're going to actually start writing code. So let's go ahead and create a new project. File, project, console application, C program. And by now you should know how to do this process. You should have your folder already created. Now in this program, you're going to print numbers. So just name the project as print numbers. Okay. And then you say next, finish. Nothing else to do there. And then you're going to click there. Just as we did with the first program, there is already a function prototype here to print hello world. So we're going to modify this program so that we can print numbers. Not only will we print numbers, but we're going to ask the user to enter the numbers. Now, in order to do that, you have to do a variable declaration. The variable declaration is a variable that will hold the number. The reason why we call it variable because you can store any number. It's not fixed. So let's go ahead and say int. Now the variable is an integer. Then you call it number. Okay. Then you move into the second line. Now what you're going to do in the second line here, you're now going to ask the user to enter a number. So we already have a printf here. Now let's just clear this line and then bring it up like that. And then we're going to say enter an integer or enter a number like that. Then you move into a new line. Now you know the user is going to enter a number. So what you're going to do with that number, you need to handle it. Let's put a comment here. Just say accept. user input how do you accept the user input you use a function called scanf i spoke about it in the first program in the first tutorial so scanf there it is there is already a hint semicolon now inside the scanf function you need to pass variables so the first variable is a former specifier d that you're going to pass d is a former specifier for receiving integer and then you're going to pass it okay you're going to pass it with an n percent to number so you are actually storing the variable that the, the number that the user is going to input into number this is how you accept the user input now, after handling the number, accepting the user input, you then need to display it on your screen. So you're going to go ahead and call the printf function. Print f. Now, the printf function can actually take multiple input. Here, we were only passing a string. But this function can actually take multiple input. Now, the first input here is we're going to write a string. We're going to say the user input is now this is a user input but guess what you need to handle it so you need to pass a format specifier that is holding the number there and that is the percentage d that you need to include there and now you need to pass the user input that is now being held by the variable number into the print a function so that it can be displayed on your screen and this is how your program will look. Don't forget your comment. So this line here, display user input. Now, if we run this program, we should be expecting a command to ask the user to enter a number. There it is. Enter a number. Now you need to choose what number you're going to enter. Now let me say I'm going to enter 100. Then you must hit enter on your keyboard because if you don't, then the program is waiting for you to finalize your user input. So I hit enter. Then automatically, what we have here is a return. The user input is 100 and the program exit 0, 
success there is no problem and this is how it's done if you like this tutorial please don't forget to subscribe to simtech channel and give the tutorial a thumbs up keep coming for more tutorial like this until next time cheers